Hey guys, this is Tyrell again. This is a message out there for all my leaders, and by leaders I mean people who are presenting their opportunity to groups of people and their primary network marketing business. What I want to point out to you is that out of every group, you usually have four dominant personality types, okay? They're your sharks, your urchins, your dolphins, and your whales. And if you tailor your presentation so that it covers each one of these uh, personality types, you're almost guaranteed to get a better response <clears throat> uh, from whatever it is that you're, whatever it is you're marketing or selling or your opportunity. Okay. Also, uh, just a side note: um, by doing this, you'll also increase your uh, participation during the presentation too. Um, so. Let's start with your sharks. Your sharks are mostly your, your reds or your entrepreneurs, okay? Your sharks are the show me the money type people. Your sharks are the people who are interested in the bottom line. They want to know if what you're talking about or what you're telling them is going to make them money, okay? That's what they want to know. They want to know how, <laughs> how much money they're going to make from this, okay? Your dolphins, your dolphins are your fun-loving personality types. They just want to know that whatever it is that you're telling them, is going to help them have fun. They want to make sure that they're going to have fun while doing it. They don't want to do anything stuffy. They're usually your loudest people in your room and usually your most active in the room also during your presentation. Um, and then we have your whales, okay? Your whales are the people who want to help. Those are your helpers. Uh, those are people who mostly concerned with uh, giving back and how this opportunity will help them to help others. Uh, no matter if they're just trying to save money or you know get healthier, those are your helpers. So definitely don't leave them out. And then there are your urchins. Okay, your urchins can be um, leaders, but your urchins are your detail people. They want to know all the details. Okay, they're your informational people. They want to make sure that what you're telling them adds up. They dot the I's and cross the T's. So if you're giving a presentation, make sure that you cover the you cover all of these types of personality or all these personality types in your presentation. Uh, one of the things I do personally is I definitely talk to my downline when I'm giving a presentation to find out what type of people are going to be in the room. And once they get in there, and right before I give a presentation, I actually ask them. I actually do a little demo or a little not a demo, but um, a little. Uh, impromptu questionnaire to ask them to find out who's who. Okay, so if I say, okay, well, let's see what type of people we have in the room today, okay, or this evening. How many people in here are the show me the money type of people? They raise their hands. Or how many people are, you know, are the uh, usually the loudest people at a party? How many people, you know, usually the, the, uh, the party goers or the fun-loving people? And so I do things like that just to get the energy up in the room, also to kind of get a gauge on where they are, and also figure out exactly which people I need to target with what it is that I'm saying, okay? Uh, another thing that you should remember is that people only buy from people that they trust and that they know, okay? People usually can care less what your opportunity is. They just want to know how it can help them solve their goals, okay? Now... People buy into you way before they ever buy into your opportunity. So you, your presentation has to be right. Okay. Also, these different personality types look for different things um, in you and on your person. Okay. So this is just uh, quick tips uh, by Tyrell. Just something to give something for you to think about when you're doing your presentation and when you're dealing with people. Because we're in the network marketing business, I say it all the time. We're in the people business. You have to know the people. So the best thing you can do to become the greatest leader that you can possibly become is work on yourself. Okay. It's about self development. It's about reading. It's about training. Uh, it's about. Um, Learning about your industry, not just your primary network marketing business, about the industry. Find out what else is out there and find out what your competition is. Absolutely. So, work on yourself. You'll definitely increase your value to the marketplace and therefore you'll make more money as a result. So, again, this is another tip by Tyrell. Um, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, also, before you leave, make sure you look below this video if you're watching this on YouTube and click on the, uh, click on the link right below this video. Um, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you're reading this on a blog or watching this technically on a blog, um, make sure you like it. Share it. 
Okay? Thanks again, guys. God bless.